Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is the English translation of the Majlis of Hazar Manana Kamru Zama Saab Tamad Barakatuhum, which took place on Tuesday, the 17th of Muharram, corresponding with the English date, 16th of August. This Majlis took place after the Ishraq Salat at the residence of Hazar Wala. Baitul Azkar in Wasiyabad, Ilahabad, UP, India. Hazar Wala says that I had this kitab in front of me this morning, the Aqwal e Salaf. You know, it is a treasure of Uloom and Ma'arif. Wherever you read from, most definitely uh, you would benefit. about approximately 45 years today people some don't even live up to the age of 45 Hazrat Abu Bakr radiyallahu ta'ala an used to say that the latter part of this ummah the islah reformation rectification will take place if they make amal on that which the former part of this ummah had done now, Hazrat Wala quotes that of Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala an, after quoting the ayat of the Quran in Majid, Ula'ikal ladina hadallahu fa bihudahum muqtadi, that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was commanded in these words, that these were the people whom Allah ta'ala had guided. So you thread their path. You tread, you thread their path. These Anbiya alayhi salatu was salam, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam is a give, given a hukam to follow their path. They are the people whom Allah ta'ala had guided. So you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, follow the guidance on which they were. That is, believe in Allah alone, obey Him alone, abstain from polytheism. In short, do whatever they used to do. Now Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam performed hajj on two occasions after receiving nubuwwat, prophethood and one before, after, uh, after receiving the nubuwwat and prophethood one before the hijrat and one after the hijrat. The narrations affirm that he also performed hajj before uh, nubuwwat, prophethood. The ahadith list four umrahs which he performed three of which were performed in Zulqa'dah and one in uh, Zulhijjah. The Hajj which he performed in 10 AH is known as Hajjatul Wida. Now this Hajj and the journey itself are related in detail in the Hadith books. Now Umar radiallahu ta'ala narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came before the Hajar al-Aswad. Before he placed his, uh, he came before the Hajar al-Aswad, placed his Mubarak lips, blessed lips on it and continued crying for quite some time. He raised his eyes and coincidentally he saw that Umar radiallahu ta'ala an was crying as well. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ha huna tas taskubul abarat ya Umar. O oh, Umar, this is the place where tears uh, are to be shed. On one occasion, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's uh, sandal strap snapped while he was performing tawaf. A sahabi immediately wanted to remove the strap from his own shoe and attach it and attach it Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, he wanted to remove the strap from his shoe and attach it to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sandal but he did not approve saying this entails giving preference over myself to others and I do not approve of this now this was uh, the expression of helplessness complete and total annihilation ajizi abdiyat of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
Hazrat Mawlana Ali Mia has written as well that go to the Multazam and shed tears. And there is a need for that. I, now Hazrat Wala now starts to quote uh, the Naat of Hazrat Marana Habib Rahman Azami uh, Rahimahullah uh, and it shows his higher his high level of his marifat. We'll go through the translation of it. He is the reason behind the existence of this world. He is the nucleus around which the universe revolves. He is a perfect manifestation of Allah's beauty. Remember the Battle of Badr? Read about the story of the conquest of Makkah? The first was a sign of Allah's power and might, that's Badr. And the second was a sign of Rasulullah all embracing mercy. His position is higher than all the other prophets. Wassalam. He was a perfect crescent in the sky. My master, Rasulullah was a full moon. His pure hadith is a food for the soul and provider of tranquility to the heart. His pure speech is a cure for the sick heart. Whatever I got and received by virtue of his was by virtue of his gaze of affection and kindness. O oh Habib, your pen and tongue are nothing. Whatever you are writing and saying is by virtue of his continual uh, 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 bestowal. His continued bestowal. Now we go on to Adam alayhi salatu was salam. Tabrani in Mu'jama Ausat by Haki in Kitabu Dawat and Azruki in Tarikh Makkah narrate from Hazrat Bureda radiallahu ta'ala who said that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when Hazrat Adam alayhi salatu was salam was sent down to earth he performed tawaf of the Kaaba seven times and performed two rakats salah in line meaning he performed he went seven times around the Kaaba then he performed two rakats of salat in line with where the maqam Ibrahim is at present he then made the following uh, dua Allahumma innaka ta'lamu sarirati wa ala niyyati oh Allah you are fully aware of my secrets and what I do in public Faqbil ma'dirati So accept my apology. Wa ta'lamu hajati fa'tini su'li You know my needs, so give me what I ask for. Wa ta'lamu ma fi nafsi faghfir li dhunubi You know what is in myself, so forgive me my sins. Allahumma inni as'aluka imanan yubashiru qalbi O Allah, I ask you for iman which is firmly embedded in my heart. وَيَقِينًا صَادِقًا حَتَّى أَعْلَمَ أَنَّهُ لَيُسِيبَنِي إِلَّا مَا كَتَبْتَ لِي And I ask you for true conviction which convinces me that nothing except what you have decreed will befall me. وَالْرِضَى بِمَا قَسَمْتَ لِي And I ask you to be pleased with whatever you decreed for me. Whatever you decreed for me. When Hazrat Adam alayhi salatu was salam completed his dua, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent revelation to him saying, I've forgiven you your sins and anyone from your ummah, your progeny who comes here and makes this dua will also be uh, forgiven, will also be uh, forgiven. Now Adam alayhi salatu was salam is the first human and the first to perform a hajj from amongst all other countries from all from among all the countries and cities Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the honor to India of having the first hajj journey commencing from 
year. Now this is a beautiful dua of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. Make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts this dua on our behalf as well. Now Allama Sharani writes that people normally think about this. Some even say it, that Adam alayhi salatu wasalam was sent down here to earth as a penalty. Saza'an. As a penalty he was sent down to earth. However, I understand it this way that Adam alayhi salatu wasalam made such a tawbah, such a tawbah immediately after that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not send him as a penalty, rather not saza'an, rather in'aman, as a gift for the wonderful and remarkable tawbah that he carried out and he made. And Allah Ta'ala blessed him with vicegerency here on earth. So Iman, here Adam alayhi salatu wasalam is asking Allah, bless me with Iman which is firmly embedded in my heart. So what is Iman? Iman is tasdiq qalbi. It's this verification from the heart. Even though some uh, would say that ijra and iqrar ala lisan also is uh, necessary when a person uh, is necessary. So we find this. Look at it. You will find it in the books of Aqaid. That you have those ulama who say that both are necessary. That tasdiq uh, is uh, iman is tasdiq qalbi. But together with that, they say it's incumbent iqrar or ijra. Uh, ala, uh, ala lisan. And those gr that group of ulama who say that iqrar bil lisan is not necessary, then too, they say it with a condition and a prerequisite. They say, Ida tuliba minhu, then if it is asked of him, then at that time it is necessary for him to uh, say it with the tongue. So that's Rasul uh, Adam alayhi salatu wasalam's dua. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasalam's dua. Allahumma inni as'aluka sihhata wal iffata wal amanata wa husna al khulq wal rida bil qadr. Now these duas of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasalam are mentioned in Munajat e Bakbul. If a person starts, makes that part of his wird, he will also learn these duas. You know, on one occasion, we went for Hazrat Mahashah was here, Lazab, we went to Bamroli. Uh, it was the masjid of some great sheikh. And when we went there, there were many ulama and Hazrat Mahashah was here, Lazab, at that time there, asked me to go forward to read the Isha Salat. And there I read وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ That's what I read. But I erred. I made a mistake in the Salat. Nevertheless, that came to an end. But there was one Malvi there that the next morning in the Fajr Salat, he went to put Kari Abdul Salam. He was my Ustad. He was my uncle as well. He put him forward. To that, Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib became absolutely angry and raged. That why, why did he do this? Did he do it because Kamru Zama made a mistake in the namaz? He was highly infuriated and upset. And he went on to say that this is a Kamal. This is something great in itself, in itself that Kamru Zaman could even stand in front of me. Because he would not be able to even do that. This is a Kamal on its own that he stood in front of me. Now look at Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib. Look at his foresight, his insight. You know, I wouldn't even say this, but we have this majlis. And because of that, so many other things come to mind, which due to which I say it to you people. Also, one very, very important thing was this year that Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib was saying that that person just came there and then started doing this and put this one forward and that one forward. He started making dakhal and interfering in the nizam that was set out there. You know Imam Abu Hanifa, on one occasion, he put Imam Muhammad forward to, re to read the Salat. Let me tell you also, in that day, he uh, missed out. It was the time of 
the, the days of Tashriq and he missed out the Takbir of Tashriq. I'll even tell you that. But we learn from this year that the seniors promote and put forward rather in their lifetime they show and they do this type of thing. Read it. Go on. You will find this year in the Maraqi Falah. So it is a ilmi kulliyat that our pious predecessors used to do that they used to promote, push forward their uh, students. I'll tell you about this also that Adam alayhi salatu was salam, he was created from this soil and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put him into being. So So this was where Adam alayhi salatu was salam started. This was the makeup of Adam alayhi salatu was salam. Then too, it is written in the kitabs that, Oh, children of Adam, think about where you started and how much of honor Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you by giving you vicegerency here on earth. You know, when I read these kitabs, I get so much of strength. Like how when a person has his tonic and his khamira, he feels uh, that strength. So it is established from the books of Tafsir and the Hadith commentaries that the first construction of the Kaaba was undertaken at the hands of Hazrat Adam alayhi salatu was salam. Allah Ta'ala ordered him saying, go to Makkah and construct a house of worship there. And perform tawaf of it just as perform tawaf of it just as you saw the angels performing tawaf. Now the tarikh Tabari quotes that Hazrat Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma who said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Wahi to Adam alayhi salatu was salam in India, ordering him to perform Hajj, which he then performed Suyuti in Durr Mantur from Hazrat Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Hazrat Adam alayhi salatu wa salam walked 1000 times from India to the Kaaba and visited this house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He performed Hajj 300 times and Umrah 700 times during his first Hajj. When he was performing wukuf in Arafat, Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam came down to him and said, O oh Adam, your hajj has been accepted. We have been coming to the Kaaba and performing tawaf for thousands of years before your creation. Now the Mu'jam of, uh, of Tabarani and narrates from Hazrat Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As radiyallahu ta'ala an that Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam came to Makkah, performed tawaf of the Kaaba and then made sa'i between Safa and Marwa. Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam took him to Mina, performed the Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha and Fajr salats for him and took him to Arafat. They performed two salats, Zuhr and Asr, they and observed wukuf until sunset. They then spent the night in Muzdalifa. They performed Fajr Salat early in the morning, observed wukuf for a long time. Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam took him to Mina, pelted the Jamarat, slaughtered an animal and shaved his head. He took him to Makkah, performed the Tawaf and brought him back to Mina and remained there during those days. Hazrat Abdul, uh, Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala adds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent wahi to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam anittabi' millata Ibrahim hanifa wa ma kana min al mushrikeen.
So that was, we just narrated there now, what is in the Aqwal as Salaf, that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah ta'ala told him, Anittabi' millata Ibrahim hanifa, wama kana minal mushrikeen, follow the religion of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, who was averse to all false creeds and not, and was not of the polytheists. You know, at the time of Udhiyah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked by the Sahaba, Ma hadhi al-abahi? And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Sunnatu abikum Ibrahim. You know, if you have to ask that what is this Sa'i? What is this Sa'i? Then I would tell you, Sunnata ummikum uh, Hajar. This is the Sunnat of your mother, Hajra alayhi salatu wa salam. Hazrat Manana Shah wa Siyullah used to say that how Hajra alayhi salatu wa salam ran, she made the entire Ummah run. Hazrat Manana Shah wa Siyullah sahab used to say this. And then he says that Allah Ta'ala mentions in the Quran, Sari'u. On another occasion he mentions, Sabiqu. When Allah Ta'ala says this, he causes the entire Ummah to hasten quickly, quickly. Turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Turn to Toba. You know, Abdullah, uh, Ubaidullah is going today. He'll be going by train. My son-in-law, Fahim, is not well. They've gone to, to Bombay for Ilaj. And we may be leaving tomorrow, myself and Abdullah. Make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants him complete shifa. That they return there from uh, completely uh, with the best of health. You know, my daughter as well, a uh, very uh, neck, very saintly, all four of them. The son-in-law that I'm speaking about, he's a tahajjud guzar. Now make dua. Allahumma inni as'alukal afiya wa dawam al afiya wa shukr ala al afiya. Make this dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hazrat Mawlana Shah Wasiullah taught me these du'as. When Mawlana Abdul Halim Sahib heard these du'as, he said that we should also make these du'as. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-yusr wal-mu'afat fi dunya wal-akhirah. In this du'a, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for ease. Now you know the whole du'a from the start. Allahumma a'atini imanan la yartaddu wa yaqeenan laysa ba'dahu kufrun wa rahmatan analu biha sharfa karamatika fi dunya wal-akhirah. Hazrat Mawlana Shah Wasiullah Sahib told me specifically to make the last portion of this dua which reads a'fini rahmatan analu biha sharfa karamatika fi dunya wal akhirah the qamr zama you make this uh, dua it was so much of his shafqat his compassion that he told us all of these things that perhaps these people don't uh, become uh, deprived He, he said on one occasion that I did not even make apparent to people that I was a Molvi. That was that Ajizi in Kisari, uh, that expression of total humility. Allah Ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the hidayat of walking on this path of our mashayikh. Now let us make dua. Allahumma inna nas'aluka sihhata wal iffata wal amanata wa husna al khulq wal rida bil qadr. Allahumma a'tini rahmatan analu biha sharfa karamatika fi dunya wal akhirah. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al afwa wal afiyata fi dini wal dunya wal akhirah. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al yusr wal mu'afat fi dunya wal akhirah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with external and internal ghina. Ghina a yad. And Rina Ekalb. So many apparition, Allah Ta'ala remove all their difficulties and grant us all afiyat. And dua that Allah Ta'ala keeps our awlad and our progeny on deen. Allahumma aslih li fi dhurriyati. Oh Allah, grant righteousness to my progeny. Inni tubtu ilayka wa inni minal muslimin. What? What, what beautiful dua, all comprehensive. Oh Allah, I cannot see, even see to myself. I'm finding difficulty with myself. Oh Allah, you grant righteousness to my progeny. And specifically I'm saying here that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants the best of health and shifa to my son-in-law 
Fahim. And these du'as are for all as well. For the Muslimin, ra rather for the entire world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all uh, hidayat. Allahumma hdina wa saddidna. Allahumma aslih li sha'ni kullah wa la takilni ila nafsi tarfata'in. Allahumma aslih ummata Muhammadin, Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma arham ummata Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma farrij an ummati Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma khfir li ummati Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma jajawaz an ummati Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta sami'u al-alim. Wa tub alayna innaka anta attawabu al-rahim. بحرمة سيد النبي الكريم صلى الله عليه وسلم